Please rise, ladies and gentlemen. The 16th Sangguniang Panlaluigan is now convened for its 31st regular session. The Honorable Vice Governor Adeline M. Angeles presiding. The 30th uh, regular session of this Sangunian, 16th Sangunian, is now called to order. Requesting the Honorable Maki Cabalies to kindly lead the invocation to be followed by national anthem. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our, fa our Father, the Almighty God, who created us in our own image, grant us grace fearlessly to contend against evil and to make no peace with oppression, and that we may reverently use our freedom. Help us to employ it in the maintenance of justice in our communities and among the nations. To the glory of your holy name, increase in us the gifts of faith, hope, and charity and that we may obtain what you promise. Make us love what you command through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Mr. Secretary, kindly call the roll. Hon Honorable Mark Julius P. Caballes, Honorable Aurelio J. Leva III, Honorable Antonio L. Mangkukang III, Honorable Bernadine Opis Mercado, Honorable Mel Gabal Arayon Cabo, Honorable Mercedes Arijano, Honorable Danilo R. Red, Honorable Ismael D. Pilim, Honorable Jose Neril L. Mangon, Honorable Baldomero L. Limpiada, Honorable Lorena Rosales. Madam Presiding Officer, with the nine members of the board present, we have the necessary quorum for this morning session. The Chair then declares the presence of quorum. We can proceed with the uh, order of business, recognizing the floor leader, Honorable... Madam Presiding Officer, for the reading and adoption of the minutes of the previous session dated... March 10, 2023, I move that we dispense with the reading of the minutes and consider the same as having been read without prejudice to the corrections and amendments and clarification from the members of the board. I so move. There is a motion to defer the reading of the uh, March 10, 2023 minutes without prejudice to the necessary correction. Any objection? The Chair hears none. We can proceed with the correction. Madam Presiding Officer, inviting members of the Board who have some uh, corrections, amendments to the minutes of the previous session. Any corrections from the floor? Madam Presiding Officer, since no members of the Board manifested corrections and uh, amendments to the Minutes of the previous session, I move that we approve and adopt the minutes of the previous session dated March, 3, March 10, 2023, during the 31st regular session. There is a motion from the Chair of the Committee on Rules for the adoption of the minutes of the March 10, 2023 session. Any objection? The Chair hears none. Thus, the motion is approved. The Minutes of the March 10, 2023 session is now adopted. Madam Presiding Officer, for the matters arising from the minutes, last session, uh, March 10, 2023, we have adopted a number of uh, resolutions congratulating some uh, agencies 
and uh, employees of the provincial government for their recognition in the re uh, regional level and national uh, level as well. So we have invited attorney IBM Leo Florido, president of IBP Marinduki chapter, Miss Maria Sinaida Hamilia Abitria, legal aid clerk of IBP Marinduki chapter, Miss Alma C. Temtiman, chief administrative officer and head of the LMD PESO, as well as the staff of the LMD PESO, Mr. Mark Anthony Suleta, PESO head of Torrijos, and Mr. Philip T. Alano, head of Dole Marinduque. And for that, I move that we suspend the rules to accommodate our uh, guests for today's session. I so move. There is a motion to suspend the internal rules and procedures of this Sangunian. Any objection? The chair hears none. The, our internal rules is hereby suspended to accommodate our invited guest. Maybe, Ma maybe know if our guests are already here. Our guest from LMD Peso, led by Ma'am Alma Timtiman, is already here. So, unahin na po natin ang ating mga katuwang from ML LMD Peso. Uh, Madam Presiding Officer, may this representation be recognized Proceed to read the level. citation of the resolution. May I ask the following to come here inside? Ms. Alma C. Tintiman, Chief Administrative Officer Dito and Head of LMD Peso. Mr. Mark Anthony E. Soleta, Peso Head of uh, the Municipality of Torrijos and Mr. Philip T. Alano. Head Dole Marinduque. Mr. Philip T. Alano is being represented by Sir Martin Moreno. Okay, proceed, Honorable Leva. Republic of the Philippines, Province of Marinduque, Office of the Sangguniang Panalawigan, except for the minutes of the 30th regular session, 16 Sangguniang Panalawigan, Sangguniang Panlalawigan Session Hall, March 10, 2023. Resolution number 503, Series of 2023. Resolution expressing commendation and congratulations to the Provincial Livelihood Manpower and Public Employment Service Office, headed by Ms. Alma C. Timtiman, for bagging the following awards in the first Dole Peso Mimaropa Regional Year-End Performance Assessment for the year 2022 held in March 8, on March 8 to 9, 2023 at Tagaytay City, to wit, Regional First Public Employment Service Office for third to fifth class provinces category, Regional Best Implementer for Special Projects for Employment of Student or Space, and the Best Ka Award, whereas, the Department of Labor and Employment, Mimaropa, conducted the first PESO Regional Year-End Performance Assessment, or YEPA, for the year 2022 last May 8 to 9, March 8 to 9, at Summit Ridge, Tagaytay, Tagaytay City, aligned with its objective of evaluating and highlighting the major contributions of the different PESOs in the region, particularly in the delivery of DOLI programs and services. Whereas, during the set activity, the provincial government of Marinduque's LMD PESO received various awards and recognition for its exemplary performance, particularly in the implementation of SPES, GIP, TUPAD, and employment facilitation services, among others, which greatly benefited the province constituents and which has also contributed in the upskilling and reskilling of the labor force, expanding access to employment service, increased income earning ability, and achieving a sustainable means of managing the labor resources. Whereas, in the past year, PMG's LMD PESO was also conferred the Bayanihan Service Award and second place in the choice of the press award, which only proves that they are truly dedicated, committed, and steadfast in maintaining an exceptional and outstanding employment and livelihood services 
to the people of Marinduque. Whereas, those invaluable accomplishments by the LMD, Marinduque's LMD peso are great manifestation of true and genuine public service which makes them worthy of such awards and recognition. Wherefore, upon the favorable recommendation of the Committee on Human Resources, Labor and Employment, and, and motion of its chairperson, Honorable Aurelio J. Leva III, duly seconded by Honorable Mercedes Ariano, it was resolved, as it is in my result, to commend and congratulate the Provincial Livelihood Manpower Development and Public Employment Service Office, headed by Ms. Alma C. Timtiman, for bagging the following awards in the first dole peso Mimaropa Regional Year-End Performance Assessment for the year 2022 held on March 8 to 9, 2023 at Tagaytay City to wit. Regional Best Public Employment Service Office for third to fifth class province category. Regional Best Implementer for Special Project for Employment of Students and the Best Ka Award. Resolved finally that copy of this resolution be partners of the PGM's Livelihood Manpower Development and Public Service Employment Office and the Office of the Governor for their information. Adopted this 10th day of March 2023 at Wak Marinduque. Certified to be truly adopted, James L. Solas, SB Secretary, attested Adeline M. Angeles, Vice Governor and Presiding Officer. Let's give a warm applause to our awardee, Ma'am Alma Timtiman, and inviting. Okay, yes, proceed, Honorable Leva. Second resolution is resolution number 505, series of 2023. Resolution expressing commendation and congratulations to the Municipal Government of Torrijos Public Service and Employment Office for being awarded as the best peso dole integrated livelihood program implementer in the first dole. Mimaropa Year and Performance Assessment for the year 2022 held on March 8 to 9 at Tagaytay City. Again, a warm applause to our partner in service, uh, Municipal Government of Torrijos, uh, PESO. The third resolution is resolution number 504 series of 2023. Resolution expressing commendation and congratulations to the Marinduque delegation in the first dole PESO Mimaropa Regional Year and Performance Assessment, PIEPA, for the year 2022 held on March 8 to 9, 2023 at Tagaytay City, headed by Dolly Marinduque Field Office Head, Mr. Philip P. Alano, for being the champion in the Sayawit Contest. Again, a warm applause to uh, Dolly. And inviting Sir Marjun to be with us here together with um, Honorable Leva. Thank you. Thank you. May we request our awardees to kindly share some some thoughts or me short message for the board member. Let's start with Mauna Kanaba, Sir Marjun, on behalf of Dole. Uh, you are recognized, Sir Marjun. Thank you, Bubais. As ang alam po ng aming um, provincial uh, head, Sir Philip Alano, Ang Department of Labor and Employment po ay nagpapasalamat unang-una po sa uh, buong konseho, sa pamumuna po ng ating Vice Governor, Vice Governor Dina Angeles, uh, sa pagkilala po sa hindi lang po sa Dole, pagkos po sa lahat ng delegation po ng Marinduque, ibig sabihin po yung buong peso po natin na talaga naman po uh, nag kita ng magandang performance po for 2022. Ano po? Kaya nga po, um, may mga awards po tayo natanggap na talaga naman po uh, deserve na makuha po nila. Itong award po na to ay pauna pa lang pagkat um, ito po, uh, sila po ay uh, automatic na magiging nominee po natin para sa um, national search po para dun sa uh, pangkabuuan naman po sa buong Pilipinas, sila po yung magiging pambato ng region po ng Maymaropa para po ilaban. At kami naman po ay kumpiyansa na malaki po ang tiyansa at malaki, malakas po ang laban natin para makuha po natin yung pambansang award po. Ang uh, nagpapasalamat po kami sa suporta 
ang uh, hindi lang po sa peso kundi sa dole at ang aming mitiin po sa ngayon ay ang um, sana yung makausap po namin yung bawat um, mga bayan para po ma-formal po na ma-institutionalize po ang bawat peso natin kasi uh, sa katayuan po natin sa kasalukuyan Um, yung LMD peso pa lang po ang talagang institutionalized. Ibig sabihin sila pa lang po talaga yung mayroong item uh, na talagang uh, intended para sa peso. So napakatagal na po nung um, batas patungkol po sa instit institutionalization at malaking bagay po yung institutionalization. Kung nakikita niyo po kung gaano yung performance na nagawa po ng LMD peso, malaking bagay po dyan dahil po mayroon talagang mga tiyak na mga tauhan sila na talagang gumagawa patungkol po sa peso. So yan po yung kinakampingin namin sa bawat bayan para po bigyan ng talaga ng maayos na item, uh, ng tiyak na item ang peso para po mas mapaiting po pa po ang trabaho ng bawat peso natin sa ating bayan. May we uh, invite uh, Ma'am Alma Timtiman on behalf of the LMD Peso to address, uh, kindly address the board. Magandang umaga po sa lahat. Sa, uh, sa ngalan po ng ating Governor, Presbytero J. Velasco Jr. po. Isang magandang magandang umaga po. So, ina-extend lang po ng peso. Ang pasasalamat po, of course, po sa ating Governor. At sa inyo po, Vice Governor Lynn Angeles. At sa mga SP members po. Yun nga po, yung support na nakukuha ng opisina, uh, yun, yun yung isang dahilan kung bakit po uh, napakasipag, dedicated, at uh, hardworking po ang LMD Peso. Yun nga, yung sinasabi natin, teamwork makes the dream work. Yun, yun po. Isa sa uh, mantra ng peso, kung saan nga po, eh, dinideliver namin yung lahat ng, ginigay namin lahat po ng magagawa po namin. So, during the YEPA, nirecognize nga po yung mga uh, contribution po ng mga local chief executives sa so, support po sa mga programa ng, ng DOLE, kaya nga po nagkaroon ng year-end performance assessment. So, yun nga po, as of now, kami rin po ang representative ng Memaropa for National. So, very optimistic naman po kami, considering na ilang taon na po namin itong ginagawa. At si, with the support po ng regional director, so, very hopeful kami na mabag sana namin si National. At hopefully, makuha namin yung Hall of Famer. Kasi sa regional level po, ay eh, Hall of Famer na po ang LMD Peso. Thank you very much, Ma'am Alma Timtiman and uh, LMD Peso. And of course, with the able leadership uh, of our governor as head of the executive. Uh, sa nga po ng pamahalang bayan ng Torillo, sa panguna ng aming manamahal na mayor, kagalanggalang Lorna Quinto Velasco, kasamang ikalabing anim sa ang bayan sa panguna ng aming Acting Vice Mayor Joel T. Cruzado, ipinahahatid po namin ang aming pasasalamat sa pagkilala sa pamahalang bayan ng Torijos sa award namin natanggap ngayon. Ha, mula po sa ating sangguniang panalawigan sa pangunan ng ating minamahal na Vice Governor Adeline Angeles kasama ang sangguniang panalawigan members. Uh, maraming maraming salamat po. Bagamat po ako po ay isang taon at kalhati pa lang, bilang additional uh, function, additional uh, duties and responsibilities ko po sa peso, bilang peso manager designate po, ginawa po ng aming pamahalang bayan ang lahat na aming makakaya para makapagbigay at makapagbigay ng pangkabuhayan sa ating mga mamayan, lalo na tigit po sa bayan ng Torijos. Uh, Winiwish lang po ko po lang bilang isang uh, peso manager designate na ma-institutionalize na po talaga yung peso office. Kaya po, uh, this coming Monday, nagsumulat uh, na po ang pamahalang bay, ang aming minamahalang mayor to create the peso office in the municipality of Torijos na pinasa na po sa sangguniang bayan. So, yun naman po and uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa support na ibinibigay. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat, Sir Silueta. And before we excuse our uh, for another badge, uh, Honorable Leva, Uh, Madam Presiding Officer, may I ask that we recognize the gentleman from WAC, Honorable Mark Julius P. Caballas, for the citation of the next batch of awardees. Yes, Honorable Caballas uh, is recognized. From the Integrated Bar of the Philippines, Attorney Ivy Rio Florido and uh, her team. Andito na ba si na Attorney Ivy? Okay, requesting Attorney Ivy and the IBP team to please uh, be with us here in front.
and also Attorney John Edward Garcia, Attorney Nika Nebreja, um, Mom uh, Zenaida Abetria, one of our awardees, and Mom Flora May uh, Ligit. Inviting them all uh, inside. Paumanhin ng konte na talagang medyo limited ang ating space, but ano, maganda na rin para intimate. Yes, Attorney Ivy Rio Florido and the IBP team. Mama Abetria also. And um, Mam Ligit, Attorney Nika, and Attorney Jan. Yes, uh, Honorable Caballes, you may proceed with the resolution. Thank you, po, uh, to our Honorable Presiding Officer. Uh, resolution number five series. Resolution number 510 series of 2023, a resolution expressing commendation and congratulations to IBP Marinduque chapter for its historic and exemplary showing during the Integrated Bar of the Philippines 2023 National Convention of Lawyers held in Davao City, authored by yours truly Honorable Attorney Mark Julius P. Caballes. Whereas the Integrated Bar of the Philippines is the official, whereas IBP Marinduque chapter and its members garnered an, un an unprecedented number of awards and commendations during the Integrated Bar of the Philippines 2023 National Convention of Lawyers held on February 16 to 18, 2023 at the SMX Convention Center, Davao City, Tubit. Number one, Best Chapter Award, Category C. Number two, Most, most Outstanding Overall Legal Aid Program Award. Number three, Best Practices Award for Free Legal Assistance to the K-5 Project. Number four, Lifetime Achievement Award for Honorable Governor Presbyterio J. Velasco Jr. Number five, Governor's Choice, Governor's Choice Most Outstanding Legal Aid Lawyer, Attorney Ivy M. Rio Florido. Number six, Most Outstanding Legal Aid Clerk for Category C, Ms. Zenaida J. Abetria. Number seven, Lack of Appreciation for Invaluable Service to Attorney Ivy M. Rio Florido. Again, a warm applause to our partners from the Integrated Bar of the Philippines, led by Attorney Ivy Rio Florida and represented now by the President and the, uh, her team, Attorney Jan uh, Edward Garcia Fernandez, Attorney Nika Nebreja, uh, and also uh, Ma'am Abetria and Ma'am Likit. So, may uh, we invite uh, Attorney Ivy and uh, Attorney... Garcia and Attorney Nebreja to please come uh, dito po sa taas together with the proponent, also a member of the IBP, Attorney Maki Caballes. Salamat ng marami and congratulations Attorney Ivy and IBP team. Bakal na. Again, uh, Honorable Caballes, for the to read the resolution. Okay, uh, the title of uh, the resolution is specifically intended for the for Attorney Ivy. Resolution number five zero eight series of twenty twenty three. Resolution expressing commendation and congratulations to Attorney Ivy M. Rio Florido for bagging several prestigious awards and leading IBP Marinduque chapter and its historic and exemplary showing during the Integrated Bar of the Philippines 2023 National Convention of Lawyers held in Davao City, authored by Honorable Attorney Mark Julius P. Caballes. Again, a warm applause to the superwoman of uh, Integrated Bar of the Philippines Marinduque chapter. Attorney Ivy, may we again invite you to be with us dito pa together with... Uh, uh, Bokal Caballes. Again, uh, recognizing Honorable Caballes for uh, the resolution to our another awardee. Resolution number 511 series of 2023. Resolution expressing commendation and congratulations to Mrs. Maria Zenaida Hamila Betria for being recognized as the most outstanding legal aid clerk. Category C during the Integrated Bar of the Philippines 2023 National Convention of Lawyers held in Davao City. Applause for Ma'am Abetria. And again, Attorney Caballes. 
resolution expressing commendation and congratulations to the Honorable Governor Presbyterio J. Velasco Jr. for being granted the Lifetime Achievement Award during the Integrated Bar of the Philippines 2023 National Convention of Lawyers held in Davao City. Uh, from the Office of the Governor, uh, to represent the, the Honorable Governor, and kung mapapansin po ninyo, Neil, Neil, uh, Neil to Angelo Rodinpo. Kindly represent the uh, Governor who is now an official travel to Manila. And uh, at the same time, uh, requesting now, uh, on behalf of the IBP, our super girl ng IBP, Marinduque, Attorney uh, Ivy Ria Florido. Uh, good morning po sa mga ginagalang po nating mga public servants. We in the Integrated Bar of the Philippines is very thankful to the provincial government of, the Marin of Marinduque for supporting our projects and for our partnership pro projects. Hindi po magiging posible na magiging uh, best chapter ang Marinduque kung hindi na rin po sa tulong ng probinsya ng, mga, ng Marinduque. And I'm very thankful to all of you. Um, ang Integrated Bar of the Philippines po is uh, won this award dahil sa pagtutulungan po ng mga legal aid lawyers ng Marinduque. Well, I can say that the lawyers from Marinduque have this what we call a social responsibility. We're not just about the legal prof profession. We're not just about lawyers in the courts, but we are lawyers who are socially responsible to the needs of the society, to the needs of the most needy, and to those who are oppressed. So, yun lamang po, maaasahan niyo po ang Integrated Bar of the Philippines sa mga proyektong legal at proyektong may kinalaman sa socio-economic activities. I would like to thank the Honorable Attorney Mark Julius Caballas. He's also part of the Legal Aid Team who is rendering free legal services to the province of Marinduque. Maraming maraming salamat po sa mga abogadong Marindukenyo at sa mga public service, uh, public servants ng Marinduque. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat, uh, Attorney Ivy. Uh, meron po ba from the nagpapasalamat tayo sa ating mga katuwang mula sa IBP. Uh, may bagong ano eh. Honorable Leva? Madam Presiding Officer, there is one resolution uh, that we have also adopted uh, during the last session. That is the resolution congratulating and com commending the schools division of Marinduque headed by Dr. L.C. Balios for bagging the 12 major awards in the 2023 search for outstanding achievers in the region and may i ask that this be given or uh, awarded to uh, dr lc barrios and the rest of the, the division of marinduque next session madam presiding officer uh, requesting the secretariat to kindly facilitate and i was informed also that there's a possi possible uh, uh, reshuffling reshuffle yes, of uh, leadership so it would be good opportunity okay. also for Ma'am Barrios to uh, be with us. Okay, Madam Presiding Officer. Yes, Honorable Leva. Uh, for the approval of the agenda, we have one privilege, uh, Madam Presiding Officer, we have one privileged speech. Uh, we don't have any question hour. We have four items for the messages and correspondence from the Governor. Uh, we have three items for the communications and petitions. And four sub -item, one item and four sub items for the municipal ordinances for the review of the board. We have one proposed ordinance, one proposed resolution, two committee reports, and one proposed ordinance and resolution for third and final reading. Madam Presiding Officer, may I move for the approval of the agenda as presented? I so move. There's a motion from the Chair of the Committee on Rules for the approval of uh, today's agenda without uh, amendment. amendment. Is there any objection? The Chair hears none. Thus, the, uh, the uh, agenda for today's session is now approved. Madam Presiding Officer, for the privilege hour, may I ask that we recognize the lady from WAC for her privileged speech on the various robbery cases in the province of Marinduque. But before that, just for the record, uh, Dindin Office Mercado. Thank you, Honorable Vice Governor Linang Iles and 
Majority Floor Leader, Bukal Jojo Leva. Mapagpalang araw po sa ating lahat. Ako po ay muling tumayo para sa isang pribilihyong pananalita tungkol sa mga nababalitaan natin mga pangyayaring nakawan sa mga tahanan sa ating lalawigan. Ilang insidente pong nakarating sa atin na yung nakawan na nangyari noong March 14 sa Kawit at sa Gasa naman ay may tatlong magkakapitbahay ang nilooban at nakuhaan ng mahalagang gamit. Kaugnay po nito ay humingi po tayo ng dato sa PNP ukol sa mga robbery theft na nangyayari to validate all the reports. At sa nakuha nating datos ay simula noong January to March 2023 ay apat na kaso lang ang naitala. March 14, robbery, barangay Kawit. Uh, January 23, robbery, barangay Tabi. February 3, theft, barangay Sumanga. February 2, barangay Maharlika, Santa Cruz. Kaya nais ko po sana mabigyan linaw tayo na bakit maraming nababalita na kaso ng nakawan pero hindi naman nakatala sa ating kapulisan. Paano po nila ito magagawa na aksyon kung wala silang complainant o nagre-reklamo? Siguro po ay panahon na muli na natin palalahanan ng ating mga mamamayan na mag-report sila sa police station at sa mga barangay para sa agarang aksyon. At sa ating mga barangay officials ay palalahanan natin na paigtingin po natin muli na maging mapagmatsyag tayo sa mga taong pumapasok sa mga barangay na kinasasakupan lalo na kung hindi pamilyar ang taong nakikita na gumagala sa barangay. Dahil dito ay nais ko pong i-recommenda na ma-refer ito sa Committee on Peace and Order para sa agarang solusyon at maipatawag po ang ating mga kapulisan na siyang kaagapay sa usaping kapayapan at karigtasan sa ating lugar. Marami pong salamat. Thank you, Honorable Dindin Office Mercado. The subject matter of the privileged speech is being referred to the Committee on Peace and Order for the Sangguniaan to be given uh, peace and order situation updates and at the same time possible proposed legislative measures. Yes, Honorable Leva. Madam uh, Presiding Officer, that closes the privilege hour. We don't have any question. For the committee report, Madam Presiding Officer, may I ask that to recognize the chairperson of the Committee on Health and Nutrition for committee report number 114 series of 2023. The chair of the Committee on Health is recognized. Thank you. Committee report number 114, Committee on Health and Nutrition. Subject, request from the Governor Honorable Presbytero J. Vilasco Jr. for an authority to execute and sign for and behalf of the PGM AMOA for Inter-LGU Cooperation with the Municipal Government of Buwak, Benavista, Gasan, Mugpog, Santa Cruz, and Torrijos for the adoption of an integrated and comprehensive approach to health development. And also, institutionalization of vaccine champions to strengthen the vaccination program of the provincial government. 
The committee hereby recommends to the board that a resolution authorizing the Honorable Governor Presbytero J. Velasco Jr. to execute and sign for and behalf of the PGM AMOA for inter-LGU cooperation with the municipal government of Buwak, Benavista, Gasan, Mugbog, Santa Cruz, and Torrijos for the adoption of integrated and com comprehensive approach to health development be adopted. Maraming salamat, kagalang-galang uh, Dindin Office Mercado. Thank you po. The, the chair is clarified. Meron ba po bang ibang paglilinaw? Kung wala na po, ano po ang uh, mungkahi ng reporting committee chair? I move for the adoption and approval of committee report number 114. And it will be calendar to the business for the day. There's a motion from the... Uh, Committee on Health uh, Chair Honorable Mercado for the adoption of Committee Report Number 114 as rendered. Any objection? The Chair hears none. Thus, Committee Report Number 114 of the Committee on Health and Nutrition is now adopted. And the uh, proposed resolution being proposed is being transferred to business for the day, included in the business for the day. Madam Presiding Officer, may I ask that to recognize the chairperson of the committee on appropriation for committee report number 115-2023. Yes, the, the chair of the committee on appropriation is recognized. Committee report number 115-2023, committee on appropriations. Wherefore, the committee hereby recommends for the adoption of the following resolutions. Number one, resolution, resolution appropriating the total amount of 4,492,000 764 pesos for various MOE accounts under the Torrejos Municipal Hospital. Number two, resolution appropriating the total amount of 6.1 million pesos for various accounts under the Santa Cruz District Hospital. Number three, resolution appropriating the amount of 120,000 intended for the payment of the terminal leave benefits of Ms. Mary Lou B. Andrino, farm worker one under the Provincial Veterinary Office. Number four, resolution appropriating the total amount of 500,000 for various accounts under the Provincial Nutrition Office. The request for a counterpart fund for the mobile kitchen was not given due course with an instruction from the PNO to coordinate with the PDRM for, for, for funding. Number five, resolution appropriating the total amount under, of 900,000 for various MOE accounts under the Office of the Provincial Administrator. Number 6, a resolution appropriating the amount of 240000 under the Provincial Governor's Office intended for the rehabilitation and reforestation of timberland or forest land and mangrove areas. Number 7, a resolution appropriating the total amount of 1 million for various MOE accounts under the Provincial Treasurer Office. Number 8, a resolution appropriating the total amount of 1,045,000 pesos in the Office of the LMD Peso. Number 9, resolution appropriating the total amount of 371,450 pesos for various MOE and capital out accounts under the Office of the Provincial Warden. Number 10, resolution appropriating the total amount of 500,000 for various MOE under the PPDO. Therefore, the committee hereby recommends for the adoption of resolution granting honorarium to in the amount of 10,000 pesos per month to Superintendent Harold R. Castillo, Provincial Fire Marshal, Bureau of Fire Protection, protection subject to the applicable laws, rules, and regulations <coughs> and appropriating necessary funds for the purpose effective January 2023 of a resolution authorizing the Honorable Governor to the Provincial Accountant for the reversion of various dormant accounts of creditors or suppliers which remained unclaimed and non-moving for the more than three years of a resolution declaring Appropriation Ordinance Number 4 Series of 2022 authorizing the CY 2023 General Fund Annual Budget of the Municipality of Torreos, Marinduque as operative subject to the conditions, comments, and findings of the Provincial Budget Officer. Maraming salamat, Honorable Caballes. Meron po bang ilang paglilinaw mula sa kapulungan? Kung wala po, ano po ang uh, anais ng Reporting Committee Chair? Uh, Madam, Chais, uh, Madam Presiding Officer, I move for the adoption of Committee Report Number 115-2023. And that uh, the resolutions forming as an offshoot of said committee report be transferred to business for the day. There's a motion from the chair of the committee on appropriation for the adoption of committee report number 115, 2023, as rendered. Any objection? 
The Chair hears none. Thus, Committee Report Number 115-2023 of the Committee on Appropriations is now adopted and the corresponding resolutions as offshoots of the adopted Committee Report be included in the business for the day. Yes, Honorable Leva. Madam Presiding Officer, the next Committee Report is the Committee Report of the Committee on Education. The Chair of the Committee on Education, Honorable Red, is recognized. What is the recommendation of... Uh, the committee through the chair with regard to the proposed MOA with the STI and uh, St. Mary's College. Uh, Madam Chair. Yes, Honorable Red. Uh, with the indulgence of the members of the Committee on Education, the representation will, uh, will render a committee report in today's session. Okay. Proceed, uh, Honorable Red. So, uh, uh, Minumong kahit po at ng, ng Committee on Education chaired by Honorable Red na bigyan ng authority ang um, ating gobernador to enter into memorandum of agreement between St. Mary's College and uh, uh, ESTI regarding the on OJT internship. Uh, committee report na, na formal na nag uh, na Madam ito. Chair, I move for the approval of... Uh, the committee report, uh, Madam rendered. Chair. Meron pong mungkahi para sa approval ng committee report as rend and recommendation as rendered by the Chair. Meron po bang tumututol? Kung wala po, the committee report as rendered by Honorable Red uh, with uh, favorable recommendation is now adopted and uh, meron din po bang kahilingan na ito ay maisama sa ating hong uh, uh, aaprobahan sa business for the day. Minumong kahit rin po ba, Honorable Red, uh, if ay mapag-usapan natin sa business for yes, the day? Yes, Madam Chair. Uh, I recommend uh, that it will be transferred to business of the day, Madam Chair. At uh, minumong kahit rin po, nire-recommend rin ho na ito ay mapag-usapan sa, sa business for the day for final disposition. Meron po bang pagtutol? Kung wala po, the committee report rendered by the Chair of the Committee on Education is now adopted and those two items will now be included in the business for the day for final disposition. Okay, Madam Chair. The next uh, item in the committee report is the committee report of the Committee on Disaster Risk Reduction and Management. Rec May Recognizing the Chair Honorable Lim to render the committee, on, uh, committee report of the DRRM Committee. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, uh, our majority floor leader, uh, my colleagues, good afternoon. Ah, good morning. Madam Chair, I present here with Committee Report Number 116-2023, a uh, joint committee report committee on uh, disaster risk reduction and management and committee on environmental protection and human ecology with the subject. Proposed Resolution Number 2023-193 entitled the Resolution Calling the Attention of the PDRMO and All Concerned National Agencies to Mitigate Arrest the adverse uh, effect of the oil spill in the waters of Oriental Mindoro, particularly the Verde Island Passage, for which uh, may spill over in the waters of uh, Marinduque. Uh, Madam Chair, a, uh, uh, the draft of uh, the, the uh, proposed uh, uh, resolution is uh, here to uh, attach for reference, uh, especially uh, respectfully submitted, Honorable Ismail P. Lim. Chairperson Committee on Disaster Risk Reduction and Management, uh, Member Committee on Environment, Antonio El Mangkukang, Chairperson Committee on Environment, uh, Environmental Protection and Human Ecology, and Vice uh, Chairman Committee on DRRM, Bernardine Office Mercado, Member Committee on DRRM, Aurelio Leva III, Vice Chairman Committee on Environment, Mercedes Arrejano, Member Committee on uh, DRRM, Mark Julius Cavalles, Member Committee on uh, Environment, uh, Baldomero Limpiada, Member Committee on DRRM, Danilo R. Red, Member Committee on Environment. Uh, Madam Chair, this, uh, this is uh, now uh, critical because uh, 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 any time the, uh, the changing of the current uh, might occur from uh, Amihan to Habagat and uh, uh, the, uh, the oil spill, uh, the, the threat of the oil spill is uh, uh, very near our doorstep, Madam Chair, on our shores. So, with that, Madam, uh, Madam Chair, I present the Committee Report Number 116-2023, uh, Committee on Disaster Reduction and Management, Committee on Environmental Protection and Human Ecology, be adopted, Madam Chair, as a move. 
Thank you, Honorable uh, Chair. Uh, the presiding officer just have uh, three days, no? Uh, ang ready. Kasi last uh, upon recommendation din ho ng chair ng committee ng DRM, nagpatawag na mabilis ang ating gobernador ng uh, pagpupulong uh, na dinaluhan na rin ng iba't ibang ahensya at LGUs. And they are already on the go with regard to the intervention. A system was also put in place wherein the PDRRM will provide the center, central, parang siya yung centro ng communication and the group chat was already created. A task force has been uh, parang uh, i-initiate down ng executive to an executive order. So, uh, uh, with due respect to the proponent, uh, posible ba na ito ay na mag magkaroon ng counting revision sa title? na parang instead of calling the attention of PDRRM, ay uh, kasi pag parang calling the attention, parang wala pa silang ginagawa. Baka sabihin naman nila, eh, meron na po kaming ginagawa. Baka po may, may ibang pwedeng ititulok na kung saan ang parang uh, effect ay regular silang mag-update mag at ipagpatuloy nila yung patuloy na... Uh, uh, na mga tasking and... Uh, uh, preparations na inihahanda ng iba't ibang ahensya. Tingin ko po ay uh, para lang po sa akin, baka magkaroon can it be uh, a resolution requesting requesting the, the PDRM and concerned agencies to provide regular update and to continue the uh, implementation of all necessary preparations. Okay, okay. Uh, because uh, as of uh, uh, as of last week, the the uh, the uh, the oil spill is uh, according to the PDRR is still it is uh, going on a different direction uh, towards the south uh, from uh, Oriental Mindoro uh, towards uh, Antique to, towards the south. But uh, but uh, any time, Madam Chair, the currents might shift uh, because of uh, from uh, from because of the uh, ending of uh, the Amihan and uh, the entry of the Habagat season. So. Uh, Madam Chair, uh, action from uh, and uh, action and uh, call for uh, action from the Sangonia Panalawigan has not uh, has not been sent yet uh, to date. So, but uh, uh, but uh, since uh, uh, we are represented there on the meeting, so yes, Madam Chair, uh, we could uh, I guess uh, we could uh, we could make some amendments on the title. Sige it's po, just that uh, uh, it is now critical, Madam Chair. Yeah. Uh, kailangan lang po talaga lang na may karoon ng uh, yung, yung ma-ensure yung uh, facilitative at saka yung coordinated uh, na pagtugon dun sa problema. Uh, may initial po na mga tasking sila at uh, preparation like sino yung regular na ma mag update like the Philippine Coast Guard. Tapos yung mga LGUs po ay nagkaroon na sila ng commitments kasi po, even in the forms of, and the DTI for instance, uh, and dole with regard to the, yung pati nga po yung pag ng mga bunot, etc. Meron na po silang mga tasking at yung pong mga MDRRM ay gumagalaw na rin po uh, uh, in coordination sa mga coastal. Kaya nga po nung nagkaroon ng kulay itim na buhangin dito sa may, sa may uh, riverside, ay akala ng iba ay meron. Mabilis rin po yung paggalaw nila kasi parang may initial tasking po sila kung sino ang magbabalidate. Pero tama po kayo that on the part of the sangguli ang panlalawigan ay kailangang ma-ensure ma, 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 ma din na, na coordinated po yung response at tuloy-tuloy uh, uh, sig siguro po. Ito lang pong siguro yung calling the attention lang po yung medyo may, may konti akong discomfort because with every preparation that they are already doing, baka ang dating sa kanila ay hindi natin alam yung kanila pong mga initial na na mga ginagawa. So, Madam Chair, uh, I submit, Madam Chair, let us, uh, let us revise the uh, title. Uh, it's, uh, instead, we make it a resolution requesting for an update from the PDRMO yeah. and all the concerned national agencies. Uh, Madam Chair? Regular update. Uh, I, I, uh, I agree with that. Uh, ano po? Uh, I submit, Madam Chair. Thank you, uh, Honorable uh, Lim. Yes, Honorable Encabo. Uh, maraming salamat po, Madam Chair. And also, uh, also is it possible that uh, during the, the update will be 
include also, uh, Mr. Chair, yung what are the equipments needed for the possible uh, response? Okay, so that the Sagunin Bayan can also, as Sagunin Palaluigan may help uh, uh, mm. our uh, PDRMO to ano mga kailangan equipment. Kasi during our seminar uh, last week, pinag-uusapan po ng mga kasama namin taga Mindoro yung the, the impact talaga. And one of the, ang kanilang concern is yung lack, lack of equipment po. Uh, we may ask the ating uh, head ng PDRM mo kung ano po yung mga equipment na posibleng kailangan natin to to mitigate yung ano po yung im, yung impact ng ano disaster. Yung po kasi ang mapapag-usapan during our seminar, may, medyo malaki po talaga yung ano yung magiging uh, uh, ano po sa bayan ng ano ng uh, lalawigan ng Mindoro. Ang uh, one concern po nila eh wala po sila equipment. Uh, na to ano so, siguro i-update po, po rin sana ang sangguniang palalawigan kung ano mga equipment na halos uh, may i-provide po natin thank Perhaps, you. Madam, Madam thank, you, thank you Mr. Chair uh, Thank you Honorable Lim what is your re response? Perhaps Madam Chair uh, the, uh, that would be included in the update of uh, of, uh, of the PDRR and, uh, and uh, that is why Madam Chair we are calling the attention of uh, the national uh, agencies because uh, we were informed that uh, even the region has uh, no capability or equipment uh, necessary for for uh, this uh, this disaster the, the what is required uh, basically is the boom the 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 boom the, the, which is uh, which the uh, regional office uh, DRR doesn't have so we call on the, the national agencies and uh, the, the Philippine Coast Guard and uh, even our uh, uh, our uh, LGUs, the the barangays, uh, we we have our, uh, we have uh, these plans to to come up with the uh, the basic very cheap uh, the kogon and dalahib and the uh, rice husk and the uh, coconut husk that uh, may be uh, helpful and uh, which is uh, proven and uh, there has been a previous study on this and uh, it is being done in some on some parts of uh, Oriental Mindoro, Madam Chair, in the south. Okay. So that Madam Chair, uh, we, so we, the we, na po yung hihilingin, regular updates and their timely recommendations uh, related recommendations. So uh, okay pa. So ang magiging title na po ng resolution po ninyo ay parang request pa rin sa different national agencies and same, uh, authorities through the PDRRM. Tama po. Yes. Uh, to provide regular updates and timely uh, recommendations. Tama rin po yun. Including, lalo, lalo na po yung mga recommendations that will necessitate legislative measure. Baka may mga funding or appropriation that may be necessary as early as, pa, as uh, possible uh, for the procurement of whatever uh, needed materials. Yan po, Madam so, Chair, yung, ano po, yan po yung mga lube, eh, ano yung mga kugon, Tapos yung mga talahib na alubid yan, kasi may medyo makapal-kapal po. Yun ang uh -huh. pong pinaka the cheapest na uh, solution to the cheapest uh, uh, mitigating uh, uh, measure. measure to regards to this, the cheapest. Okay po. Thank you, uh, Honorable Lim. So what is now the pleasure of the reporting committee, Chair? Madam Chair, I, uh, I move that the committee report, committee report number 116-2023, Committee on Disaster Reduction Management and the uh, Committee on Environmental Protection and Human Ecology be adopted, Madam Chair. With, with amendment. With amendments. With amendments. Uh, Julie, uh, there is a motion for the adoption of the committee report uh, as amended, rendered by the chair of the committee on the RM, Honorable Lim. Any second? Julie seconded by Honorable uh, uh, Mangkukang. Any objection? The chair hears none. Thus, uh, the committee report number 116-2023 uh, is na, as amended, is now adopted, and the corresponding resolution. Uh, Moving further, Madam Chair, that the uh, proposed resolution stipulated in the committee report be transferred to business of the day. And also the proposed resolution uh, with the amended draft uh, be, tra be included in the business for the day. Thank you, Madam Chair.
Yes, Honorable Leva. Madam Presiding Officer, we are now in the calendar of business. We don't have any unpaid business for the business for the day. The first item in the business for the day is the accompanying resolution of the committee report of the Committee on Education. Thank you, Honorable Leva. Recognizing the chair uh, of uh, Committee on Education, Honorable Danny Red, to make the formal uh, a motion regarding the uh, proposed resolution of authority to Governor Velasco with regard to the MOA. Uh, Madam Chair, I formally move uh, granting authority to the provincial government of Marinduque, represented by Governor Presbytero Velasco Jr., enter into a memorandum of agreement with St. Mary's College of Marinduque for the on-the-job internship program. I saw so move, Madam President of Sir. There's a motion from Honorable Danny Red, duly seconded by Honorable Leva, Honorable Mangkukang, Honorable uh, Rehano, for the adoption of a resolution. Uh, any any objection? The chair hears none. Thus, the motion is approved. The resolution granting authority to Honorable Governor Presbytero Velasco Jr. to enter into a memorandum of agreement on behalf of the province with the St. Mary's College of Marinduque for the on-the-job or internship program implementation is now approved. Another resolution, yes, Honorable Danny Red, Chair of the Committee on Education. Moving, um, Madam Chair, uh, I formally move uh, granting authority to the provincial government of Marinduque, represented by Gov Governor Presbytero Velasco Jr., enter into a memorandum of agreement with Educational Systems Technological Institute of Marinduque. Uh, be, uh, be approved, uh, Madam Presiding Officer. Any so, second? Duly seconded by Honorable Caballes, Honorable Leva, uh, Honorable Mangkukang, Mangol, and uh, uh, Honorable Rihano. Any objection? The chair hears none. Thus, the motion is approved. The resolution granting authority to Honorable Governor Presbytero Velasco Jr. to enter into memorandum of agreement on behalf of the province, on behalf of the provincial government of Marinduque, with the Educational System Technological Institute of Marinduque, for an on-the-job or and internship program is now approved. Madam Presiding Officer, may this representation be recognized? Proceed, Honorable Leva. Madam Presiding Officer, may I move for the adoption of a resolution expressing the deepest sympathy and condolences of the Sangguniang Panalawigan to the bereaved family of the late Celeste C. Malitao, Administrative Assistant 6 at the Provincial Planning and Development Office. I so move. Any objection? The Chair hears none. Thus, the motion is approved. Uh, the resolution number 217-2023, entitled Resolution Expressing the Deepest Sympathy and Condolences of the Sangguniang Panlalawigan and the province of and the provincial government of Marinduque yes, in general to the bereaved family of the late Celeste Malitao, Administrative Assistant 6 at the Provincial Planning and Development Office is now approved. Madam Presiding Officer, may I ask to recognize the Chairperson of the Committee on Health and Nutrition for the accompanying resolution of Committee Report Number 114-2023 of the said committee. The Chair of the Committee on Health, Honorable Dindin Office Mercado, is recognized. Thank you. I move for the approval of a resolution authorizing the Honorable Governor Presbyterio J. Velasco Jr. to execute and sign for and on behalf of the PGM AMOA for inter-LGU cooperation with the Municipal Government of Buwak, Benavista, Gasan, Mugpog, Santa Cruz, and Torrijos for the adoption of an integrated and comprehensive approach to health development. I so move, Mr. Presiding Officer. Uh, and in the, in the resolving clause is the 
attached, the conditions. The attached, yes, the, the attached, attached committee okay. report. Thank you. Thank you. There is a motion. Any second to that motion? Duly seconded by Honorable Rosales, Honorable uh, Leva, any ob Honorable Rehano, any objection? The chair hears none, thus the motion is approved. The resolution authorizing the Honorable Governor Presbytero J. Velasco Jr. to execute and sign for and on behalf of the provincial government of Marinduque, a memorandum of agreement for an inter-LGU cooperation with the municipal governments of Bawak, Benavista, Gasan, Mugpog, Santa Cruz, and Torrijos for the adoption of the integrated and comprehensive approach to health development is now adopted. Madam Presiding Officer, may I ask that we recognize the Chairperson of the Committee on Appropriation for the accompanying resolution of Committee Report Number 115-2023 of the said committee. The Honorable Chair of the Committee on Appropriation, Honorable Cabal, yes, is recognized. Madam Chairperson, uh, Madam Presiding Officer, this representation as the Chairperson of the Committee on Appropriation formally moves for an omnibus, mo omnibus motion for uh, the adoption of, our, of the following resolutions. Number one, a resolution appropriating the total amount of 4,492,764 pesos for various MOE accounts under the Torreos Municipal Hospital. Number two, a resolution appropriating the total amount of 6,100,000 pesos for various accounts under the Santa Cruz District Hospital. Number three, a resolution appropriating the amount of 120,000 intended for the payment of terminal leave benefits of Ms. Mary Lou B. Andrino, farm worker one under the Provincial Veterinary Office. Number four, a resolution appropriating the total amount of 500,000 for various accounts under the Provincial Nutrition Office. Number five, a resolution appropriating the total amount of 900,000 for various MOE accounts under the Office of the Provincial Administrator. Number six, a resolution appropriating the amount of 240,000 under the Provincial Governor's Office intended for the rehabilitation or deforestation of timberland or forest land and mangrove areas. Number seven, a resolution appropriating the total amount of 1 million pesos for various MOE accounts under the Provincial, provincial Treasurer Office. Number eight, a resolution appropriating the total amount of 1,045,000 in the office of the LMD peso. Number nine, a resolution appropriating the total amount of 371,450 pesos for various MOE and capital outlay accounts under the office of the provincial warden. And number 10, a resolution appropriating the total amount of 500,000 for various MOE accounts. There's a motion for the adoption of 10... Uh, SP resolutions providing supplemental appropriation to various offices. Any second to the motion? Duly seconded by Honorable Leva, Honorable Rosales, Honorable Rehano. Any objection? The chair hears none. Thus, the omnibus motion is uh, approved. The following resolutions are now uh, approved. Resolution appropriating 4,492,764 thousand for the Torrijos Municipal Hospital, six appropriating six million one hundred thousand for various accounts in the Santa Cruz District Hospital, appropriating one hundred twenty thousand pesos for the payment of terminal leave benefits of Miss Adrino. Resolution appropriating five hundred thousand pesos for the Philippine uh, Provincial Nutrition Office. Appropriating 900,000 pesos for the Office of the Provincial Administrator. Appropriating 240,000 pesos for the Governor's Office. One mil appropriating 1 million pesos for the Provincial Treasurer's Office. Appropriating 1,045,000 pesos for the LMD Peso. Appropriating 371,450,000 for pesos for the Provincial Warden and appropriating 500,000 pesos for the Provincial Planning and Development Office. The 10 resolutions, as, re as mentioned, are now approved. And the presiding officer, uh, again, as the chairperson of the Committee on Appropriations, I move for the approval and or the adoption of a resolution granting honorarium to to super Intendant Her Herald R. Castillo, Provincial Fire Marshal, 
Bureau of Fire Protection in the amount of 10,000 pesos per month. Subject to applicable rules, laws, rules, and regulations and appropriating necessary funds for that purpose. Effective January 20, 2023. Any, any second to the motion? Any duly seconded by Honorable Leva? Any objection? The chair hears none. Thus, the resolution granting honorarium in the amount of 10,000 pesos per month to Superintendent Harold Castillo, Provincial Fire Marshal, Bureau of Fire Protection, subject to applicable laws, rules, and regulations, and appropriating necessary funds for the purpose effective January 2023 is now approved. Madam President, yes, officer, Honorable Leva. Incidental motion with the just concluded, appro uh, just approved. Uh, Resolution. It is a time and honored, uh, time honored tradition in the Sangguni Ang uh, Panlawigan that we invite the head of the national government agency to lay down his plans, programs, and projects and activities uh, of his uh, department. So may we ask that we invite uh, said uh, fire, provincial fire marshal on March 31. Okay, instructing our good secretary to kindly make the necessary During the invitation. question hour. To uh, Superintendent Castillo for during the question hour in the next session. March 31 is his availability, Madam Chair. Noted. Okay. Uh, kindly kindly uh, facilitate, next, uh, Sir James. Thank you. Uh, Madam Presiding Officer, this presentation would like to move for the adoption of a resolution authorizing the Honorable Governor through the Provincial Accountant for the reversion of various dormant accounts of creditors and suppliers which remained unclaimed and non-moving for more than three years to wit, general fund accounts payable in the amount of 3,421,419 pesos and 14 centavos, general fund due to officers and employees 205,952 and 48 Centavos, general fund other payables 576,771 and 16 centavos, centavos, trust fund due to officers and employees 9,092 pesos, trust fund other payables 410,879 pesos and 30 centavos, for the total amount of 4,624,114 pesos and 8 centavos, Madam Chair. Thank you, Honorable Caballas. Before we make the, the final disposition on this, is it possible that uh, 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 in a resolving clause, we also include the possibility of valid subsequent claims because there are times in the past that the uh, inability uh, to avail uh, 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 those payments are because of some documents that are misplaced. Uh, concurrently, uh, concurrent liability is within sometimes uh, on the part of the provincial government. So, pwede ba na to protect the interest then uh, of uh, some suppliers for their possible valid future claims ay mailagay din lang po doon ng isang prov provision na kung may valid future claims ay i-prioritize then for uh, appropriation. Yes po, uh, Madam Chair. Uh, I concur with your suggestion. Salamat po. Meron, uh, any second to the motion by Honorable Caballes? Duly seconded by Honorable Lim, Honorable Leva. Any objection? The chair hears none. Thus, the motion is approved. The resolution authorizing the Honorable Governor Presbytero Velasco Jr. through the provincial accountant for the reversion of various dormant accounts of creditor suppliers which remained unclaimed and not moving for more than three years is now approved. The presiding officer, this presentation again formally moves for the adoption of a resolution declaring appropriation ordinance number no. four, series of 2022, authorizing the CY 2023 general fund annual budget of the municipality of Torres Marinduque as operative and subject to the conditions, comments, and findings of the provincial budget office. Any second to the motion? Duly seconded by Honorable uh, Danny Red. Any object? And, and Honorable Leva, any objection? The chair hears none. Thus, a resolution declaring appropriation ordinance number four, series of 2022, uh, authorizing the calendar year 2023 general fund annual budget of the municipality of Torrijos, Marinduque, is now approved. 
uh, is now uh, declared as operative subject to the conditions and comments of the provincial budget officer. Madam Presiding Officer, may I ask that we recognize the chairperson of the Committee on Disaster Risk Reduction and Management for the Committee Report Number 116-2023 of the said committee. The chair of the Committee on DRRM is uh, recognized, Honorable Lim. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Sir, uh, Majority Floor Leader, my colleagues. Madam Chair, as an offshoot of the Committee Report, I move that we pass a resolution, a resolution requesting all concerned agencies to provide the Sangguniang Panalawigan through the PDRMO regular update of all mitigating measures undertaken to arrest the adverse effect of the oil spill in the waters of Oriental Mindoro, particularly in, uh, in uh, the Verde Island Passage, for which may run through the waters of Marinduque, Madam Chair, I so move. Thank you. Uh, uh, also, a consideration, pwede po bang masama natin dito yung request, yung, yung concern po ni Bokal and Cabo kanina? It is uh, including, including in the, the update. Hindi na ilalagay yung and, and, and recommendations. Okay po. So, any second? Duly seconded by Honorable uh, Mangkukang, Honorable Opis. Uh, any objection? The chair hears none. Thus, the motion is approved. The resolution requesting all national, all gov national government agencies and other offices to, pakiulit nga ba, to provide uh, all all concerned agencies to provide the Sangguniang Panalawigan through the PDRMO regular update of all mitigating measures undertaken to arrest the adverse effect of the oil spill in the waters of Oriental Mindoro, particularly in the Verde Island Passage for which may run through the waters of Marinduque. Thank you for the iteration, Honorable Lim. Any uh, objection? The Chair hears none. Thus, the resolution uh, is now approved as uh, reiterated by the author. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, that closes the business for the day. In today's session, we don't have any unassigned business. For the proposed ordinance and resolution, for third and final reading, may I ask the secretary, secretariat to please read proposed ordinance number 16-23 in its entirety. Proceed, uh, Mr. Secretary. Proposed ordinance number 16-23, an ordinance institutionalizing the annual search for the best Sangguniang Bayan in the province of Marinduque, providing funds for its implementation and for other related purposes. Authored by Honorable Aurelio J. Leba III, Chairperson of the Committee on Rules, Laws, and Ordinances. Be it ordained by the 16th Sangguniang Panlalawigan of Parinduque in Session Assembled that Section 1, Title, This Ordinance shall be known as the Gawad Sangguniang Bayan Ordinance of 2023 of the Province of Marinduque. Section 2, Declaration of Policy, It is the declared policy of the Provincial Government of Marinduque to promote and implement practices that will enhance local legislative processes in the province that would impact to more effective quality legislation and meaningful administration and development. Section 3, General Objective. This ordinance accords official recognition to the Sangguniang Bayan that excels in the enactment of ordinances or re resolutions that ultimately contribute to the attainment of desirable socio-economic and environmental outcomes. Section 4, Specific Objectives. This ordinance was enacted for the following specific objectives. Letter A, to bestow official recognition to innovations and distinctive practices in the local legislation. Letter B, to institutionalize a system of recognition to the Sangguniang Bayan for exemplary performance. And letter C, to inspire local legisl legislatures to excel in the performance of their function. Section 5, coverage. This ordinance shall cover all Sangguniang Bayans in the province of Marinduque. Section 6, Rules of the Award. In the course of implementing this ordinance, the following rules must be observed. Letter A, this ordinance is conferred to the Sangguniang Bayan in the province of Marinduque with innovations and distinctive processes, practices in, the local, in local legislation. Letter B, for the purpose of this award, a provincial award committee is hereby created to take the lead in the implementation of this award. Letter C, the coverage of the evaluation is from July 1, of the previous years to June 30 of the current year. Letter D, the evaluation shall be on August 1 to 31 of every year. Letter E, the decision of the award committee is final. 
Letter F, the award is to be conferred every year during the celebration of the Philippine Counselors League or PCL Week. Section 7, award criteria. In the course of implementing this ordinance, the criteria to be observed shall include but not limited to the following. Letter A, responsiveness of the legislative agenda. Number one, the legislative agenda complements the executive agenda. Number two, prior consultation with the stakeholders in the development of the legislative agenda. Number three, the legislative agenda provides legislative action in the, on the comprehensive development plan. Number four, the legislative agenda promotes and supports provincial, regional, and national priority development trust. Let there be availability of legislative documents. Number one, all ordinances and resolutions from July 1 of the preceding year to June 30 of the current year are indexed by subject by authors and sponsors and by date of approval. Number two, hard or, or electronic copies of ordinances and resolutions can be retrieved or accessed on inquiry within a reasonable period. Number three, Journal of Sangguniang Proceedings from July 1 of the preceding year to June 30 of the current year is available. Number four, minutes of session are duly signed by all members present or certified by the Secretary or Sangguniang Secretary. Number five, committee reports duly signed by majority of all members. Number six, mechanism for, communica for communicating local legislation are available. Letter C, effectiveness of performance of Sangguniang. Number one, ordinances and resolutions enacted, enacted are aligned with the legislative agenda and pillars of the Philippine Development Plan 2023 to 2028, which are as follows. Matatag maginhawa at panatag na buhay. Economic and social transformation of, for a prosperous, inclusive, and resilient society. Letter A. Develop and protect capabilities of individual families. Letter I. Promote, number one. Promote human and social development. Letter B. Transform production sectors to generate more quality jobs and competitive products. Letter C. Practice good governance and improve bureaucratic efficiency. Letter D. Ensure peace and security and enhance administrative justice. Letter E, ensure macroeconomic stability and expand inclusive and innovative finance. Letter F, expand and upgrade infrastructure. Letter G, accelerate climate action and strengthen disaster resilience. Letter A, enhancing social fa fabric, malasakit. Letter B, inequality, reducing transformation, pagbabago. And letter C, increase, increasing growth potential or patuloy na pagunlad. Number two, ordinances and resolutions enacted should be within the prescribed powers of the Sangguniang Bayan to enact. There should be no declared invalid and ultra virus either in part or in whole. Number three, regular session conducted with complete attendance of the Sangguniang members. Letter D, efficiency of performance of Sangguniang. Number Roman numerals, Roman numeral number one, process and procedures. In, number one, internal rules of procedure contain minimum requirements. Organization of Sangguniang and the election of officers, creation of special and standing committees, order and calendar of business, legislative process, parliamentary procedures, and discipline of members. Number two, notices of special session are disseminated at least 24 hours before the scheduled session. Number three, notices of committee hearings are received by concerned parties in accordance with the rules of procedure of the Sangguniang. Number four, institutionalized, institutionalized feedback mechanism. Number five, people's participation in the legislative process. Number two, quality of office setup and staff complement. Number one, session, shall, session hall has appropriate fixture and equipment for, for the presiding officer, Sangguniang members, the secretariat, and the public. Number two, legislative officers of the, of the, of the individual members have appropriate fixtures and equipment. Number three, each Sangguniang Bayan should have a, a sufficient legislative support to stop and add, other than the sec Sangguniang Secretary. Number four, an office for the Sangguniang Secretary is present. Letter E, legislative citation and award. Number one, awards given to Sangguniang. Number two, regional, national, or international recognition are accorded to the Sangguniang. Number three, awards given to the, to the LGU by reason of Sangguniang Ordinance or Resolution. Number four, international recognition according to the LGU by reason of Sangguniang Ordinance and Resolution. Letter F, capacity development. Number one, for LGU, initiated capacity building for Sangguniang members and the staff. 
Number two, participation of Sangguniang members in staff in capability building activities conducted by other government or non-government organization. Section 8, Awards and Prizes. The awards to be given are as follows. Hall of Fame Award, Best Sangguniang Bayan, Best Sangguniang Bayan First Runner-Up, and Best Sangguniang Bayan Second Runner-Up. Each awardee shall receive the following prizes chargeable against the fund of the Sangguniang Panlalawigan of Marinduque. Best Sangguniang Bayan, a cash prize of 300,000 and a trophy. Best Sangguniang Bayan, first runner-up, a cash prize of 200,000 and a trophy. Best Sangguniang Bayan, second runner-up, a cash prize of 100,000 pesos and a trophy. The Hall of Fame Award shall be conferred to the Sangguniang Bayan who has declared as the best Sangguniang Bayan for three consecutive years. Section 9, Individual Awards. There may be individual awards for the most outstanding presiding officer and Sangguniang Bayan member. The said award shall be decided by the Provincial Award Committee by providing for its guidelines and criteria. Section 10, Evaluation Procedure. In the course of implementing this ordinance, the following must be observed. Number 1, the Provincial Award Committee or the PAC evaluates the Sangguniang of all municipalities within the province of Marinduque using the prescribed performance evaluation form, which shall form which shall be part of this ordinance as Annex A. The Sangguniang to the Office of the Secretary to the Sangguniang shall prepare the required mode of verification or MOBs per criteria with labels of efficiency and the smooth flow of evaluation. The list of mode of verification or MOBs shall form part of this ordinance as Annex B. The PAC then accomplishes a consolidated performance evaluation form which shall form part of this ordinance as Annex C and determine the top performing Sangguniang. Number four, only Sangguniangs with overall performance rating not lower than 80 are qualified to the award. Number five, in case of tie, the PAC shall further evaluate the assessment of, res of, the assessment of, resu assessment of results giving consideration on innovative legislation. Section 11, the Provincial Award Committee and Secretariat. The Provincial Awards Committee is hereby created to implement the Marinduque Legislative Award to be composed of the following, the Chairperson, the Vice Governor. Vice Chairperson will be the Provincial Director of the DALG, members, the Secretary of the Sangunian, the Provincial Planning and Development Officer, the Provincial Administrator, the Chairperson of the Committee on Rules, Laws and Ordinance, and the representative from the accredited CSO to be determined by the PAC Chairperson. The committee shall carry out the following functions. Letter A, initiate and coordinate activities necessary for the successful implementation of the award. Letter B, formulate the specific guidelines for the efficient and effective implementation of this ordinance. Letter C, conduct assessment to all Sangguning Bayan in the province of Marinduque. And letter D, determine the top performing Sangguniang. Likewise, a secretariat shall be created with which primary task is to provide technical support to the committee to be composed of the following. Head, Secretary to Sangguniang Panlalawigan, members to staff from the secretar SP Secretariat, additional members if necessary to be determined by the PAC. The Secretariat shall have the following duties and function. Number one, assist the committee in the conduct of assessment. Number two, provide technical assistance in the performance of administrative and technical tasks of the committee. And number three, perform such other tasks as may be, as may be directed by the committee. Section 12, Budgetary appropriation, the Sangguniang Panlalawigan shall allocate 1 million annually for the implementation of this ordinance. Section 13, separability clause, if for any reason or any section of the provision or provision of this ordinance is declared invalid or unconstitutional by a competent court, the remaining sections or provision not affected thereby shall continue to be in full force and effect. Section 14, repealing clause, all existing ordinances, resolution, local executive orders, rules, and regulations that are inconsistent with the provision of this ordinance are hereby repealed or amended accordingly. Section 15, effectivity, this ordinance shall take effect immediately after publication. Yes, Honorable Leva. Just for the record before its uh, final voting, Madam Chair, that the uh, sponsor is the chairperson of the Committee on Rules, Laws and Ordinances, while the members are co-sponsors. I move for the nominal voting to, to determine the nays and the ays. So we are now. We will now go to uh, the final voting. 
for those in favor of approving the proposed ordinance number 16-23 as read, please say yes. Nominal. Okay. Uh, requesting the the um, our good secretary to to please facilitate. Honorable Mark Julius P. Caballes. Yes. Honorable Aurelio J. Leva the third. Yes. Honorable Antonio El Mangkukang the third. Honorable Bernadine Opis Mercado. Yes. Honorable Melga Balarencabo. Yes. Honorable Mercedes Arijano. Honorable Danilo Arred. Honorable Ismael D. Pilim. Yes. Honorable Jose Neril El Mangol. Yes, yes po. Honorable <laughs> Baldomero El Limpiada. Honorable Lorena Rosales. Yes, po. So, what is the vote of uh, Honorable Danny Red with regard to the proposed ordinance number 16-23? Yes. And what? Uh, Madam Presiding Officer, uh, the result of the nominal voting, uh, 11 voted in favor of the proposed ordinance, none voted uh, negatively, and uh, no abstention. So with 11 members of the board all voting in favor of proposed ordinance, voting yes in favor of proposed ordinance number 16-23, authored by Honorable Leva III, the chair uh, declares proposed ordinance number 16-23, an ordinance institutionalizing the annual surge for the best Sangguni Ang Bayan in the province of Marinduque providing funds for its implementation and for other related purposes authored by Honorable Aurelio Leva III and is sponsored by the Committee on Laws, Rules and Ordinances with members Honorable Caballes, Honorable Lim, Honorable Mangol and Honorable uh, Limpiada is now approved for third and final reading. Madam Presiding Officer, that closes our proposed ordinance. Session will be on March, March 24. And for now, the session is adjourned.